Hey, welcome back, class. Today we are talking about the Great Depression still, and we're going more in depth about the causes of the Great Depression. There wasn't just one cause of the Great Depression. There was many different causes. Now, they think that the stock market crash was what you know broke it all down and started it all, but there was many different causes to the Great Depression, not just the stock market crash, and that's what we're talking about today. Like I said, there wasn't one event or single factor that caused Great Depression. It took a number of conditions all happening at one time to make the economy go so bad. What caused the Great Depression? There wasn't one event or single factor that caused the Great Depression. It took a number of conditions all happening at once to make the economy go so bad. All right, so the start of the Great Depression is usually considered the stock market crash, like I said, of 1929. It crashed from over-speculation, and this is when stocks become worth a lot more, so they're worth a whole lot more money, or they were pretending to be, than they actually, the actual value of the company. So uh, people were buying stocks on credit from the bank, but the rise in the market wasn't based on, on what was really happening on reality. stock market crash. The start of the Great Depression is usually considered a stock market crash of 1929. The market crashed from over-speculation. This is when stocks become worth a lot more than the actual value of the company. People were buying stocks on credit from the banks, but the rise in the market wasn't based on reality. So when the, the economy began to slow, the stocks began to fall, and in October of 1929, people panicked they began selling all these stocks. So they were selling these stocks for more money than what they were. They were buying them for more money than what it was actually worth. So the stock market crashed and many people lost everything. And when I say everything, they lost everything. They lost all their money, they lost their house, lost their job. They lost everything. And although the stock market crash wasn't the only cause for the Great Depression, it helped to get it all started. Stock market crash continues. When the economy began to slow, stocks began to fall. In October of 1929, people panicked and began selling stocks like crazy. The stock market crashed and many people lost everything. Although the stock market crash wasn't the only cause for the Great Depression, it certainly helped to get it started. All right. So there was farmer struggles too. Uh, farmers have been having a tough time for a lot of the 1920s before the Great Depression started. So... Uh, they had new machinery. Farmers were growing more crops than ever before because of those new machines. And uh, it caused prices because they were making so much. They had such an abundance of it. It, it caused prices to drop so low that they, couldn't, they weren't making any profit off of it. Farmers struggles. Farmers had been having a tough time for much of the 1920s before the Great Depression started. With new machinery, farmers were growing more crops than ever before. However, this caused prices to drop so low that they couldn't make any profit. All right, so when the Great Depression hit, though, things got a lot worse for the farmers because it stopped raining. All right, in the Midwest, there was this drought, and it started, and it would last until 1939. So it lasted for about 10 years. It just stopped raining. If you look here, here's some of the soil. This is what it looked like. It was a, a drought. All right, the, the soil turned into dust because there was no rain, nothing, nothing to help water these plants and, and, and get everything going. You gotta have, you gotta have water in order to grow plants. So uh, many farmers couldn't pay their bills and they lost their farms or they migrated to California hoping to find work. So this was another thing that, that messed up the economy. Farmer struggles continue. When the Great Depression hit, things got even worse for farmers. In the Midwest, a drought started that would last until 1939. With no rainfall, the soil turned to dust. Many farmers couldn't pay their bills and lost their farms. They migrated to California, hoping to find work. All right. Uh, there's also people were borrowing too much money. I remember in the 1920s, I told you, they thought everything was going good. People were borrowing money, they were buying stuff, they were buying cars, they were buying... Uh, all kinds of stuff, washing machines. They were buying radios, all right, and all these. They were buying all this stuff on credit. They were borrowing money to buy all this stuff. So, uh, and advertising convinced these people that they could afford these items by borrowing money. Uh, many people went into debt buying all these things, 
and uh, debt that they couldn't afford. And when the economy went bad, many families couldn't make their payments on their automobiles, on the radios, on their washing machines. People borrow and it's too much. In the 1920s, there were lots of new products available like automobiles, washing machines, and radios. Advertising convinced people that everyone could afford these items by borrowing money. As a result, many people went into debt buying products they couldn't afford. When the economy went bad, many families couldn't make their payments. All right, uh, and you had, like I said, with the farming equipment, you know, they, they were making more and more. They were able to make more and more crop, make, you know, more and more of something. Uh, the economy was booming in the 1920s, and, and companies built new factories. They hired more workers. And soon the companies were making more products than they could sell. So they were making they were making more products than they, they, they were selling. So when the Great Depression started, companies had to lay off workers. All right. They, they were losing money. They had to lay off, lay off workers. They had to stop production, stop making all these things. And this had a big negative effect across the entire economy. Too many goods. In the 1920s, the economy was booming. Companies built new factories and hired more workers. Soon companies were making more products than they could sell. When the Great Depression started, companies had to lay off workers and halt production. This had a negative effect across the entire economy. And then you had the banks, banks and money. One of the major factors that led to the Great Depression was the failure of the banking system. All right. In the first few years of the Great Depression, over 10,000 banks failed. All right. A lot of people, they lost their life savings. Some people went from being filthy rich to having nothing. And uh, at the time, the U.S. government did little to help the banks survive. Uh, they just they just didn't. They they. This was before FDR came in and made the government part of it and regulated some stuff. So, you know, so the, the banks were, were losing money. They were failing. And like I said, over 10,000 banks failed during this time. Banks and money. One of the major factors that led to the Great Depression was the failure of the banking system. In the first few years of the Great Depression, over 10,000 banks failed. Many people lost their life savings. Some people went from being rich to having nothing. The U.S. government did little at the time to help the banks survive. And you had world trade, world debt and trade. Uh, the entire world economy was struggling at the time of the, the Great Depression. The U.S. had loaned a lot of money, loaned a lot of money to its allies that were recovering for, from World War One. So that would be France and Britain and now, all these countries we talked about with World War I that they were allies with, they had loaned money to them to help them, you know, with their struggles. And as they, these countries were still struggling, they couldn't pay back the U.S. the U.S. their money, so it, 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 the, it caused the U.S. to struggle, okay, with the world debt and with trade. World trade and debt. The entire world economy was struggling at the time of the Great Depression. The U.S. had loaned billions of dollars to its allies recovering for war, from World War I. As these countries struggled, they could not pay back the U.S. And there was also a new law that was called the smoot Holly Howley Tariff Act, and it was passed in 1930. It placed these high taxes all right, on, on imports that were coming into the United States. Well, it hampered trade. It slowed down trade because nobody wanted to pay these high taxes. Well, nobody wants to pay taxes ever, okay? So, I mean, that was part of what caused the American Revolution. Nobody wanted to pay the taxes, all right? Uh, it helped to slow down the economy with this, this tariff, this, the smoot Howley Tariff Act. World debt continued. A new law called the smoot Howley Tariff Act was passed in 1930. It placed high tariffs or taxes on imports. This hampered trade with other countries and helped slow down the, the economy. All right, we got our comprehensive question now. What year did the stock market crash? Was it A, 1929, B, 2018, or C, 1840? The answer is A, 1929. It was October of 1929 when the stock market crashed. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Number two, what event is generally considered to be the start of the Great Depression? A, Prohibition, B, Stock Market Crash, or C, the Bonus Army March? 
It was B, the stock market crash was considered to be the start of the Great Depression. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Number three, what law passed in 1930 hurt trade with other countries? Was it A, the Stamp Act, B, the Social Security Act, or C, the Smoot-Hawley Tariff Act? It was C, the Smoot-Hawley Tariff Act. They placed It placed high taxes on countries importing goods to the United States. And where they said, well, you know, we don't want to pay those taxes. So it hurt trade and then it hurt the economy overall. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Number four, what happened in the Midwest during the Great Depression that caused many farmers to lose their crops? A, there was a drought, there was no rain, and it caused the soil to turn to dust. B, it rained all the time, or C, there was snowing. And the answer is A, there was a drought for about 10 years, actually. All right, from 1929 to 1939, uh, generally when it ended, uh, there was a drought. There was no rain. It, the soil turned to dust. Well, you can't, you can't grow crops with, with no rain. So uh, that was what happened. With the, and it hurt the economy that way, too. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Number five, what major thing led to the Great Depression? A, nothing. B, banking failures. Or C, uh, Abraham Lincoln. It is B, the banking failures. All right. Uh, during when all this, when the stock market crashed, banks failed as well because people had borrowed all this money and they weren't paying people back. And, you know, they lost money. People lost their life savings. The banking failure is one of them. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. And that is all for our comprehension questions. I will be back next time. We will we will go in. We will talk about Herbert Hoover, who was the president at the start of the Great Depression. And uh, people blamed him for the Great Depression, even though he really didn't have a whole lot to do with it. So uh, I will see you all next time. You all have a very good day.